Welcome to Linkronicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagaya, Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today, lovely souls, we are going to be talking about your link of courage. And we're going to be talking about it not just one way, not just two ways, 20 gazillion different ways. That I I can guarantee you we're not going to be talking about courage just one way. Um, I was just called upon to do this video, so you know, I answer the call, um, to do this video because they said it was timely. It was timely to talk about courage. So we're going to be doing this video a little bit differently. We're not going to be doing the three columns. I know. I know you're really disappointed. We're not going to be doing three column homework. We're going to be doing an exploration, excavation exercise where you're just going to watch this video, think about the questions I've asked, and then challenge yourself to answer. You may have to slow it down. Pause. Because I know I talk fast. I'm, try I'm trying to slow down. Um, dealing with all of these questions I'm going to ask you. Because the questions I'm going to ask you are actually going to change your life from how you see it right now. Okay, so let me ask you this. As you link to the courage within you, how do you define it? How do you define it? What does courage mean to you? And do you know more specifically where you got it? Do you think you were just born with it? Do you think it developed over time? And how do you relate to courage? How was it shaped? Did it come from your family? Did it come from your experiences? Can you remember the first time you were courageous? What did that look like? What did you think? What did you feel as you processed that you had to be courageous to do something? And did all of this come from how you were raised generationally? Maybe was it dictated by geography of where you live? Where you maybe were asked to rise to certain challenges because of where you grew up? How about your culture? Or your religion? Or just how your family was? Or maybe you were asked to step into certain situations where you had to actually define it sooner than you thought you would ever need to. How has courage made you who you are? And what has your relationship been with the word? Courage. What does that mean? What does it mean now? As you've gone through these last several months, <laughs> weeks, months, of your excavation, transformation, metamorphosis, rising to the next level, dealing with your higher consciousness, do you process courage differently now? in context to who you are as your authentic new 2.0 self? Do you, do you have a different definition of what that courage looks like? What about in the 3.0 sphere of your actions, your dreams? How does it relate to your spiritual self, your 5D level of vibrational awareness? How do you look at courage that way? Is it different? Has it transformed and changed as you've changed? And more importantly, what does it mean to you now and where you're taking it? And what will you do next with it? How we define courage is really, really important because it helps us see how we take on life, how we're open to life, how we step into what's next for our lives, and really constantly redefining the context of how we change the word and its meaning to us in our heart and our soul in alignment with our truth of who we are in every moment we choose to be courageous. Your link of courage is really important for you to look at right now through the lens of where you've been, how you use it, where you're going with it, and who you're becoming. Because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. You know that. That is something you have to continually recalibrate and redefine as you go along your journey into becoming who you want to become and taking your life where you want it to go. There's so much of life that we don't know. Life's a continuous 
process of being a student of life as we're going through it. So what is courage going to mean to you now with where you're going to take it? And how will it reshape your next steps? How did it eliminate fear? Because you've actually used courage more times than you can count. And what courage did it take for you to actually go through the metamorphosis process of answering the call to rise in ascension of being who you now want to be? These are a lot of questions that are necessary for where you've been and where you are right now and where you want to go. How many of them can you answer? How many of them did you not know that you had to actually contemplate to answer? <laughs> and where do you think you're going to get the answers? Do you know? Or do you just take it on without defining it and instead letting the experience define you? Yeah. We can do a lot of growing through this. We can grow, do a lot of um, healing and growing and um, continued upward spiraling growth and elevation as we look at courage from the new place of where we sit and realize that it changes every day. The stronger you become, this courage can take you to a new place. So go back and rewatch this pause where you need to write out the questions that resonate most with you, lovely souls. Do just that. See what your answers are. And have the courage to look at how honest your answers actually are and celebrate them. When you can celebrate where you've applied it, how you've progressed through it, and honor just how much courage you had to be where you are right now, not just in survival mode, okay? To dare to take it to thriving mode. That's when you can actually understand the value of what courage brings to your life. I'm Stacey Kumgeier, Linkologist, here to help you link your life. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Linkronicity, blogspot.com, and go to linkronicity.com for private coaching sessions. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day filled with courage as you step into your next adventure for your life.